Okay, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, it's your girl, Miss Lauren here, and I'm here to let y'all know the lowdown on this Queen's Supreme Court. So we all know T.S. Madison and Kaya no longer, no more together. Kaya's doing gag order, and T.S. Madison has her new show. This week, she started doing the show, and she chose these two, Shakina from uh, T.I. and Tiny's life, and uh, Little Mo here, who they dug up from R&B divas. Um, we waited like a month and some change. I was thinking that this was gonna be all off the chain. Madison, girl, you was in Australia hyping this up. Then you came here and y'all was looking like three corpses. I don't know what happened, where y'all came from, looking like that. But some of the topics y'all was uh, Cardi B, Wendy Williams, and Bruno Mars. The topics were interesting, but like it became very, very preachy at one point. Little Mo like was doing a lot of preaching and like using her emotional, personal experiences. Like I know T.S. Madison stated in the beginning, this is not roasting gags. Like we get it, this is not roasting gags, but this is not Little Mo's emotional train wreck like what are y'all doing up here right now and Shekinah we have not seen you since 88 like it was very dry it seemed like they should have been going off like we waited a month for this like y'all should have been going off it should have been fireworks lit like it just wasn't the same Kaya doesn't give a care in this world so it just seemed like dry because Madison is very reasonable with the Libra energy she's very fair and justice like but Kaya has like no filter none zero I don't care nothing and it just gives you the things you want to say but you can't because like your church family and your church friends are like on your Facebook or like it's the things you want to say but it's like you got that one gay cousin that you don't want to offend them on Facebook and it seemed like little Mo and Shekinah were both kind of like doing that like they were screening what they were saying because they were scared of what people were going to think or they were screening what they were saying because they were scared of what backlash they were going to get from which community like and to me like it seemed like they went up there like yeah we all out in the open we gonna do this thing and we gonna talk celebrity commentary and it just was became about little mo's personal life it came about cardi b's pregnancy and how she should have not got pregnant like what is the big deal about cardi b getting pregnant like she's got a ring on her finger she got a husband i get that shekinah was saying that but shekinah was doing it in a little bit of a classless way like shekinah was doing it in a little bit of a, a ghetto ratchet way like she like oh she's married she's married so she could keep on girl keep on having babies keep on keep on keep on like okay i get that kind of but like saying that message is like telling young girls that are like on the fence about if they love somebody or if that should be their fiance or saying wifey or hubby when you're in high school means that you know you should be having babies and you should just be doing this and doing that like it's all about the mold that you set not roasting gags but if you're gonna be sitting there saying oh she married she married just keep on bopping them babies girl we want to have a hundred babies but like he already got baby mothers that like have issues with party and baby mothers that like have issues with the baby and like Cardi never met the other kids like you have to think about what type of life you're setting up for these children like Shekinah shame on you because that shit right there was kind of whack like really shame on you Shekinah actually like what do you mean keep on having babies like what do you mean like they're gonna just have brothers and sisters and people they don't know the whole point is to keep the family together like you should be setting a better example than that and like encouraging black unity and black love black family Dominican love Dominican unity whatever it is that Cardi B is like Shekinah girl the show itself was just dry it just totally drained me it did not give me life it did not like move me and I'm just very disappointed Queen Supreme Court and I just pray to God that she took the advice because people was commenting and I at the point where I was like yo I'm out I literally commented and said I'm out y'all like I'm not it just got to a point where it was dry like at one point I was looking at the numbers it was 21,000 and then it went down to like 10,000 and then it would go back up to 15 like you can get people to watch Facebook counts the views they count who watches of course but doesn't mean they stayed watching like my ultimate goal is to get people continue watching continue listening like you don't want to sit there and have something that somebody views and then they leave and then you give them attitude and say if you don't like it you can leave but I want your view so I can get more popping like I don't I never really understood that logic this is your girl Miss Lauren like I said I just be written written and uh, I just wanted y'all to hear my um thank y'all and I love y'all and stay tuned to Miss Lauren Radio on YouTube and also on Instagram only one Miss Lauren and on Twitter is Miss Lauren Radio as well so I hope y'all have a blessed day I hope everyone stays tuned keep it tuned keep it locked um Miss Lauren Radio on Twitter Miss Lauren Radio on YouTube and only one Miss Lauren on Instagram I love y'all we out